Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see the properties of addition that children will learn in class 1. Addition is one of the basic mathematical operations on numbers. Let us go into the details of this video now. We have learned that addition means joining. And the symbol used to represent addition is the plus symbol. We have also learnt single digit addition with objects in a separate video. The link to the video is given in the iCard section and also in the description box. Let us revise that concept quickly now. You have three flowers with you. Your mother buys two more flowers from the market. What is the total number of flowers with you now? Let us count. One. 2, 3, 4 and 5. So you will have 5 flowers with you now. Let us represent this in the numbers now. You have 3 flowers with you and your mother buys 2 more flowers from the shop. So the total number of flowers with you now is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now consider this case where you have two flowers with you and your mother buys one, two, three flowers from the shop for you. Now what is the total number of flowers with you? Let us count it once again. One, two, three, four and five. So let us write it in numbers and see. You have two flowers with you and your mother buys three more flowers from the shop. So the total number of flowers with you will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what do we understand from this? Two numbers can be added in any order. The sum remains the same. The sum in case of an addition means the total or the answer that you get by adding two numbers. Here we saw that 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And 2 plus 3 is also equal to 5. Let us do one more example to understand this concept better. You have 6 tumblers with you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Your friend brings in 1, 2, 3. 3 more tumblers from her house. What is the total number of tumblers you will have now? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So the total number of tumblers with you now will be 9. Let us do it the other way now. Suppose you had 3 tumblers with you. 1, 2 and 3. And your friend brings in six more tumblers from her house. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now, what is the total number of tumblers with you now? Let us count once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So the answer in this case also is nine. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 and 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. This is our first property of addition. Two numbers can be added in any order. The sum, the total or the answer will always be the same. Let us move on to understand the next property now. 0 means empty or no objects. We have dealt with zero in a separate video and the link to that video is given in the iCard section and also in the description box. Let us understand zero with the help of an example here. You have a bowl in which some fruits are kept. How many oranges are there? Let us count. One, two, three, four, five and six. There are six oranges in one bowl. There is another bowl which is empty 
or there are no oranges in it or you can say that there are zero oranges in it. What will be the total number of oranges with you now? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So you will have 6 oranges with you. As 0 does not have any value, there will be no change in the sum or the total or the answer when you add 0 to any number. This is your second property. When 0 is added to any number, the sum or the answer is the number itself. You will get the same number as the answer when you add 0 to any number. Let us do one more example to understand this concept better. You have a box in which you have a collection of 8 beautiful stars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have 8 stars with you. You have another box which is empty or which does not have any objects or you can say that there are zero stars in that box. So what is the total number of stars with you now? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the total number of stars with you now is also 8. So your second property is when 0 is added to any number, the sum of the numbers will remain the same number itself. There is one more important property of addition to be learned. So stay with me till the end of this session. Before that, dear viewers, if you like the quality of my video, please do hit the subscribe button as it definitely adds value to my channel. I assure you that it will be a value add to you also. Do not forget to tap on the bell button and choose the all option to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. Let us learn the next property now. While passing through the row, you come across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 trees. When you move through the next row, you see one more tree. What is the total number of trees that you saw now? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the total number of trees that you saw is 6. This is your third property. When 1 is added to any number, the sum is the next number. In this case, we added 1 to 5. The number next to 5 is 6. So the answer that we got was 6. When 1 is added to any number, the sum is the next number. Let us do one more example to understand this property better. There are 9 girls in a dance class. Let us count and see if there are 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. There are 9 girls in a dance class. One more new girl joins the class. What will be the answer to this question now? We know that by the third property of addition, when 1 is added to any number, the sum will be the next number. So, what is the next number which is ni after 9? It is 10. So, the total number of girls in the dance class now will be 10. Let us count and confirm that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So we will have 10 girls in the dance class now. So your third property of addition that you learn in class 1 is when 1 is added to any number, the sum will be the next number. Let us quickly summarize the Properties of addition. Two numbers can be added in any order. The sum remains the same. When zero is added to any number, the sum is the number itself. 
when 1 is added to any number, the sum is the next number. Dear viewers, these are the properties of addition that children learn in class 1. As they go into higher classes, there will be more complex properties of addition that children will learn. With respect to class 1, these three properties are very important to be learned. The other learning outcomes in class 1 with respect to addition are single digit addition with objects which we have already covered in a separate video. Properties of addition we have covered in this video. In the upcoming videos we will be covering single digit addition with numbers, both horizontal and vertical addition, addition using number line. We will be dealing with addition of two digit numbers without regrouping or carryover. Then we will take up addition of three single digit numbers. Then we will be dealing with addition of two digit numbers with three grouping or carryover. When we will do some story sums and also work on addition concepts worksheet. Among these, as I told you, we have completed the first topic single digit addition with objects in a separate video and properties of addition is covered now. My next video will be on the topic single digit addition with numbers, both horizontal and vertical addition. So dear viewers, hope you have tapped on the bell button to get notification of the new videos that I make in my channel. As I'll be dealing with each of these topics in separate videos, I'll be giving all the link to related videos below in the description box. Please do check them out. Now, if you like my video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And do not forget to give your valuable comments in the comment section. It definitely motivates me to interact with you. Thank you for watching my video. See you soon.